My sister found this desk on Facebook Marketplace and brought it to me for a makeover. So this is either a Marketplace makeover or maybe a Facebook facelift? I don't know, but either way, this is not what it looked like when I first saw it. I'm on it. Let me take you back in time to show you what it took to get to this point. I could tell that the desk was refinished at least twice before, but the original finish wasn't sanded down and no primer was used, which meant there was a lot of chipped and flaking paint. This brown was some sort of glossy glaze paint and it was applied even over the drawer handles. The wood is solid, but you could see that the desk was well used. I started by cleaning inside and out. I removed the hardware and then removed all the finishes by sanding. It was just too cold to use a chemical stripper. This drawer's joints had come apart. Since nothing was broken, it was easily repaired with some wood glue and clamps to keep it together until it set. Present day, and I'm ready to add some color. This is my inspiration. And I wanna start with all the parts that are going to be painted, which is the body of the desk. And unlike the previous makeovers, I will be priming everything first. I'm ready to start painting and I'm using this grayish blue. The camera's making it look way more like a much lighter bluer color than it is. It's actually quite grayish blue. And it happens to be an oops can that I got for three dollars. And it's a color I like. So I mean this is a deal. Thirty dollars for the desk, three dollars for the paint. Life's good. Okay, paint. <sighs> That looks really blue on the screen, but it's so much actually darker. Ah, oh, yeah. I know I'm gonna need lots of coats, but this is already looking good. And the wood is so, so dry. It's like sucking up the paint. Did the same to the primer. It's time to stain, and I'm going to be starting with some wood conditioner, some pre-stain, and then I'm using English chestnut, which I've never used, and then lots and lots of coats of the diamond finish, because this desk is gonna be used by a teenager, so I think it needs some extra protection. So first, the pre-stain, just because I want an even look to the stain, and I'm hoping this helps. This stuff still stinks, it always stinks. I ordered these little handles off Timu and they have a, such a great patina. I really like it. They're like, they look old. They're a little thin, but the color's perfect. And I did measure they line up the holes perfectly, except I can't have holes. This has to drill into wood because I didn't know that Ralph told me after. So we are going to fill the holes with dowels, which I would have done had I known this is what I needed to do, but we're gonna do it now by we. I just mean Ralph's here, he's gonna do it. And, and I'll just stand around going, sorry but they're really pretty. I bought this shelf liner off of Timu and it's a little bit thinner than I would like, but the pattern is so perfect for this like oldie worldy vibe that I'm going for. And I'm gonna use this to line the drawers because I mean, they're kind of just boring. So I just thought this would kind of make it, I don't know, a little fun.
Now that we've filled up our holes with the dowels and Anna has stained them, I'm going to be placing some pilot holes inside each one of them and then go ahead and screw in our new handles. To make the desk a bit more functional, we're going to convert this drawer right here into a keyboard tray. Because the front would get in the way of typing, we're going to convert this so it flaps down with some hinges. After I cut the front facing of the drawer, I immediately attached my hinges, only to realize that I did not consider I needed spacing for the hinges to rotate. So I cut some wood spacers and attached them to the inside of the front face to elevate the hinges. I also discovered that the bottom side interfered with the drawer front opening, so I need to cut out these areas on either side. I found these magnetic latches online, and I attached them to the sides of the keyboard tray. This will help to keep the drawer front upright when it's closed. This desk looks so refreshed. But let me remind you what it used to look like. Getting the drawer to drop down is a little bit finicky because this was the first time Ralph ever did anything like this. And I think he did awesome. It's perfect for a keyboard and mouse. Thanks so much for watching. If you think my color choices work well together, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you soon with another project. Bye. This is really messy, but it is a basement. I know that this is not what it looked like. No, I don't know what that was. Whoa. Da, 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 da. Okay. And now. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. Yeah, good. Bye.